Welcome to the Good Friday edition of our series of short devotionals for Holy Week. Today we're thinking about John chapter 19 and Hebrews chapter 10 and I hope you'll take time to read those in a moment but John 19 deals with Jesus' time before Pilate and then later his his crucifixion. Hebrews 10 tells us how Jesus once and for all sacrifice on the cross replaces the sacrifices of the Old Testament. And looking at these two passages, one word really came to mind, and it's not even a word that's that's in the passages, but the word that jumped out to me was the word advocate. Now, looking at the Collins English Dictionary, it tells me that advocate can be a verb, to advocate, to support or recommend publicly, to plead for, or speak in favour of. And an advocate can also be a noun to be an advocate, a person who upholds or defends a cause, a supporter, a person who intercedes on behalf of another. And if you're in Scotland, you'll understand an advocate to be a barrister. So where are the advocates in these two passages? I see three advocates. I see a bad advocate, I see a good advocate and I see the perfect advocate. So quickly, the bad advocate, look at Pilate. Look at Pilate in John 19. He clearly understands Jesus to be innocent. His wife, we're told elsewhere, has warned him that she's had a dream, have nothing to do with this innocent or righteous man. Pilate clearly believes him to be innocent. He pleads with the crowds. He pleads with the Jewish leaders, let him go. But he's scared. The passage tells us he's frightened. There's risk of trouble. There's risk of personal cost for him. And he walks away. He literally washes his hands and said, okay, I don't want anything more to do with this. Take him, do what you want. Not the kind of guy that I really want to be my advocate that walks away at the first sign of trouble or personal cost. Secondly, the good advocate. Look toward the end of of John 19 and you'll see Joseph of Arimathea going to Pilate and asking for Jesus' body. Joseph was a well-known, a rich, a high-ranking Jewish official. He he was part of the, the ruling Sanhedrin and he had everything to lose by associating himself with Jesus and and his disciples. But he went and he took that risk and he went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. That's the kind of guy I want advocating for me that's prepared to risk everything. He, he not only gave his own tomb, but he was prepared to risk his, his reputation and, and everything that he had for Jesus and his disciples. That's the kind of advocate that I would like. And thirdly, the perfect advocate. John, uh, sorry, Hebrews 10 and verse 12 tells us, but when Christ had offered an all time single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. So not only did Jesus' sacrifice on the cross make it possible for our sins to be forgiven, What else did he do? It tells us he sat down at the right hand of God. He's sitting at the right hand of God right now. But what's he doing at the right hand of God? If you look back at Hebrews 7.25, it tells us he's interceding for us. He's advocating for us. And what makes him the perfect advocate? Well, he's perfect because not only is he God, even in heaven today, He is still man. He understands us. He understands us better than we understand ourselves. He understands what we need better than we do. And he intercedes. He prays to the Father on our behalf, the perfect advocate. And as we look at that picture in heaven, it's not one that we often think of, but as we look at that picture in heaven that's happening right now, It inspires me to want to advocate 
to speak for those in the world around me today that can't speak for themselves. And that will mean someone different to you than it does to me, but it inspires me to be an advocate. And today, as we remember the crucifixion in the days ahead, as we remember the resurrection and the ascension, as we celebrate those things, let's celebrate them because they make possible that scene in heaven today where Jesus Christ has made it possible for our sins to be forgiven, but also he is there right now interceding, advocating for us, and we have the perfect advocate on a daily basis. Let's give thanks for that. Have a great Good Friday.